This list sucks, I'm not gonna lie. But that's okay. Lists are for disagreements and people to comment, wow, this list sucks. Uh, here we go, top 10 teams for the RLSC, RLCS season, whatever this is, 2023-2022, number 10, Moist. And now already you're about to click out, but hear me out, bro. And if you don't click out of this one, then you'll click out of the next team because this list is so bad. Number 10, I have Moist because Batir got dropped and he was the best upcoming player in EU, okay? They got Astral, which is also, wow, he's really dope. He's really good on paper, but he likes to do a little trolling, especially like defensively, I feel like. And Batir just offers a lot more on defense uh, on a head-to-head -head comparison. And offense, I still think Batir is better than Astral. However, Astral can definitely do some crazy offensive things. So uh, I think it's a pretty huge downgrade. And Vatir was talking about in one of his videos, like, wow, Luck had to do a lot with our team. And you know what? He's kind of right. I think they had a lot of lucky wins. I don't think that makes them a bad team than what he really thought they were. But uh, with this Astral move and with one other thing that I'm about to say that is pretty crazy to some people, is I think Joyo is one of the most overrated players in Europe, bro. Joyo sick, love him, cool, air dribble, freestyle, all that good stuff. But man, I feel like he's a bit overrated on that team. Rise isn't as flashy as either of them, but he's probably the most solid on that team, which I think consistency goes a longer way in uh, such a, you know, such a game where, you, where every possession counts, every game, every series, etc. So uh, yeah, I think that team is gonna go down the list quite a bit. Um, jumping to number nine, I have Solary. So now you're gonna click out of the video and that's acceptable, bro. I have no nothing to defend this, but actually I do. I have Solary because it has KDOP and Fairy Peak. And you say, well, they had Alpha 54 and now they have Cha, Cha Set 45, bro. Like, are you stupid, Feenster? Are you dumb? They didn't win with a player who's clearly better than Cha Set. Why do you think they're gonna win with Cha Set instead of Alpha? And to that, I say, this game is all about the chemistry. Now, obviously, Alpha's probably the better player than Cha Set at almost everything. But if you can't play together well with your teammates, then, like, does it even matter? I think Kadop and Fairy were always on the same page, whereas maybe like Alpha was chasing a little more, being doing like dumb stuff on the field, but he's still a better player. So that's why that's one of my bold takes. I think Chaset's gonna be a little smarter, allow everyone to uh, make better plays on the pitch, and that team's gonna be solid. They're gonna make some majors, they're gonna be good. I think that team has potential, uh, but that's definitely my boldest take on this list is the number nine, Solary. Number eight. I have version one, which they didn't move their roster at all. So pretty boring take. They have a uh, beast mode. Who's one of the best NA players. They have Com, who is an elite disruptor, kind of like the NA mark by eight. And they have torment who's progressively gone better this season, which is like kind of my wild card for me. Torment and Com, I don't know which one more of, um, I guess the more like Com disrupts the plays, the more offense they get. And the more like Torment gets active in the play and gets like good solo plays and passes, then that team becomes better. Uh, Beast mode, I only remember him having like one bad se like series that whole entire season. So not worried about him in the slightest. Version one and number eight for me. Number seven, I have Space Station Gaming who replaced Rettles for LJ. Now, I think LJ is probably a better player than Rettles, kind of like how we were talking about Alpha 54 way better than Chaset. But Rettles was like smart. Rettles did stuff his own way. Rettles liked the chemistry and he liked to control the game. And I can respect that. I can respect a lot of things. I don't know, I think SSG is gonna be very even with what they are right now. Daniel and Arsenal are still gonna do their thing. Um, maybe Arsenal will have more confidence. We'll start feeling more comfortable. Uh, that's the only thing. I think Arsenal is the X factor, if anything. If he's going to play well, that team plays well. What, uh, like, even with Rettles, that was the case. And I think with LJ, that's also going to be the case. Maybe they're a little better with LJ, but I really don't, 
don't think this roster move matters that much. I have a number six team liquid and they got a chronic Oski and a Tao who are all 16 year old goons, absolutely elite. They're only gonna get better on the pitch. Uh, they have so much like of their careers left too. 16 years old and they're already this good. Reminds me of the old moist. Uh, they're not really that old, but you get the idea. They can only go up from here. That team liquid roster was looking incredibly nasty in the spring split of the most recent RLCS season. They were taking down very good teams. They were getting consistent top three finishes, I believe. Uh, a chronic, absolutely mechanically insane, bro. He is the oldest on that team. And the other two are the newest members, Oski and Natal. And they're, I mean, I, I've seen show matches between them, like 1v1s and shit like that. And they're just so good, bro. That team is going to be, they have probably the most potential out of every single team on this list, I can say with confidence. Number five, I got Complexity, who consists of Raze Bull, CRR, and AJG, I always forget his three letter name. So if I mess that up, I apologize. I literally, I can't remember it right now. Uh, that team got a huge upgrade with CRR for Shad. Therefore, I think number five is a good spot for them on this list. We already know how good Raze Bull is. Uh, the third, AJG, APG, whatever it is. Uh, he's, he's really solid too. He runs the Fennec, I know that much. Um, and CRR is definitely a better player than Shad. No disrespect to Shad, he is still good. But I think that team is a great upgrade. Complexity, looking good. NA, they're gonna be uh, one team to watch. Nothing really else to say about them. Just some ones mains. Number four, I have Furia. They didn't change their roster. They got Yance, KO, and Card. Card just got better throughout the season. He was He's an absolute grinder. KO, a great team player, knows how to pass, great positioning all the good solid three stuff in the end do i have to talk about him one of the best players in the world he was uh like i mean he's just insane 1v1s have clearly been a huge factor in his air dribble game because even in 3v3 he literally 1v3s with his air aerial plays and it's just it's so stupid bro that that, that player is one to look out for he ends for show number three i got g2 okay a little bold here that maybe I don't have them at two or one, but I think G2 will be a number three team. They'll still be good, but they have the potential to be one. They have the potential to be horrible. They, they can be anything. They, they are a pass heavy team, as we all know and love. Very entertaining. Every touch is a pass to each other. Atomic, JNAP, Chicago, absolute shooters on the pitch. Um, their consistency is probably the greatest question for me because in the grand finals of this most recent world championship, I felt like that's what they lacked in their four games. JNAPS had like a few mistakes. Chicago played probably the most solid on that team. And Atomic had a few mistakes in that grand finals, I felt, against BDS. But BDS were just incredibly solid. That's what made them world champions. Uh, props to them. G2, though, can still be great. But I have one, one team in between BDS and G2. So what is it? Number two, FaZe Clan. I think this is pretty obvious. They just played in uh, this tournament we're watching on the screen is actually both FaZe Clan POVs. First game was First Killer, now we're watching Mist, and this is the grand finals of uh, the new roster royale tournament, whatever it was called, where uh, the new rosters go at it, and FaZe looked unstoppable, and I hope this gameplay speaks for itself. They have Mist for AJ, AJ's actually on the other team they're playing, and they're all like, I wonder if they're all 18, 19, 20, I mean they're all just growing up. They're smart players, they're grinders. First killer is one of the best threes players in the game. Um, typical has like been incredibly solid. And since the last like Worlds, typical like proved he was the second best player on that team. And that's why I felt like they ended up dropping AJ. Cause AJ ended up making like a lot of mistakes on this phase team. But with Mist, I felt maybe they would lose some of their attacking or like passing prowess, but they just got better on defense, which allowed them to get better on offense. It's just funny how that works. I thought they weren't gonna be as good maybe because AJ brings all that mechanical, like 1v1 plays to the table. But Miss has shown that like with him on the team, he can make plays happen. Uh, he's just, wow, very good. I guess I did sleep on him. 
but I hope they're not good. I hope they're not as good as I think they are because I don't really like FaZe. Honorable mentions before we get into the pretty obvious number one, I have K Corp who got Vatira. So that's gonna be Vatira, Itachi, and who's the third? Exotic, right? I don't know if that's confirmed. I'm pretty sure that's confirmed. But that team's gonna be very good. They're kind of a wild card for me. They have three great players, but can they put it all together? That's the biggest what if for me. Another honorable mention is NRG. They aren't anywhere on my top 10 list. I think they have the pieces. They have like the brains. They just gotta put it together, man. Like they gotta get squishy, like to stop playing permanent third man and actually play some real Rocket League because that shit pisses me off. They could be such a great team. We all know it, they know it. They just gotta like <laughs> not be idiots. I, I don't know. Easy for me to say as a watcher. Uh, I guess hard for them to just fix it. So yeah, those two teams, honorable mentions. Number one, Team BDS. They won the most recent world championship. They have the player, I think it's obviously the best in the game. Monkey Moon, I've said it a million times. They have Seiko, the 16 year old EU prodigy. And they have uh, Extra, who is just mechanically very good. It's, it's insane to watch that team play. And uh, with Monkey and Extra are kind of like the vets of that team. Seiko is easy to fit on. And wow, they looked really good against everyone they played in that World Finals. But that's my list. Top 10. Thank you for watching. Peace.